Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to episode 5 of my Frostpunk The Last Autumn series. Now, previously we moved forward with phase 2 of the construction site, installing the pressure valves. And now we've moved on to the tower pumps after we located or secured some steam exchangers out in the wilderness. Totally not at the expense of anyone or any lives or anything like that. We wash our hands of the whole affair. We also expanded the colony a little bit further out, building another chapel to cover some extra houses, and installed some overseers to help increase motivation in a totally cool, calm, and collect way. Nothing nefarious going on there. So everything's going pretty well. We're five hours ahead of schedule. However, I've been assessing the situation between episodes, pulling back and looking at everything, seeing that how all the efficiencies are stacking up, how we're doing resource wild wise checking in on certain things. And I noticed that food is basically gone, and we've only got a day a day's worth of rations. There's no food in sight out here. Not yet. Anyway, we're currently on track to head to the Rock Arch, which doesn't sound promising, and the Mountain Pass also doesn't sound promising for food, anyway. So, I'm going to make the tough decision here and assume that we're going to have to dismantle this docks and build a second fishing harbor. The fishing harbor is being built over here. And I don't know, but I'm assuming we don't get a hundred raw food in one day from it, which is what we need to sustain 230 people by doubling up our rations in the cookhouse. So, if it's at least 50, then maybe we stand a chance for a while. If not, we're in trouble. Now, you might be wondering, okay, that doesn't seem good for bringing in resources, and it's not, but in the technology tree, as we mentioned in the last episode, we can get an improved docks that will actually double up the rate of, what's, of stuff they're bringing in. Now, we can bring in wood, steel, and coal, but I don't think we should ever bring in coal, because in the tech tree, there's also the charcoal kiln which turns 70 wood into 170 coal. So I think that would be something to look into and go for eventually as well. Plus, there's actually quite a lot of wood still around us. So I think that's basically the situation. So in the tower pumps themselves, 0% progress. Nobody's assigned to it yet, and it's extremely deadly to work in here because of the three toxic gases level and the three base safety level. However, we can activate protective structures, the structural profiles, so that's one level up. We can activate the shorter shifts, one level up. We can activate safety procedures, another level up. So we can cancel out three of them and get into level three at least. We can turn on the ventilation plant, pant, pant? <laughs> we can turn on the ventilation plant. And the factory inspectorate, of course, is gonna also bump that by two levels. So we're almost fine with working on this tomorrow. So we're gonna assign 50 people to it today. So they get right and ready for that in the morning. I won't activate anything else until they actually get on it. Uh, in terms of sick people, currently we've got six people being treated. Uh, it's currently 7 p.m. They tend to tick over during the night, where we'll see if we'll get more sick people or not. We're dismantling a couple, uh, or not a couple actually, I should say, just the one. Yeah, we're just dismantling the one sawmill that we had out here, and we've built a second one here, or are in the middle of constructing a second one. And uh, I think that's currently the situation. So, generator-wise, it's nice to get a nice overview of the uh, safety of all these places. But generator-wise, we need 10 structural profiles, which we've done for the, the valves, and then 10 exchanges, which we've got in place now for the tower pumps. Onwards from that, we're going to need 25 steel composites for the core. And that's going to be made in a foundry, which we haven't even researched yet. And then we're going to need 50 structural profiles. We've already got 30, but we're going to be spending them to increase safety here and there. So we'll see how that goes. <sighs> I think that's it. I'm very stressed out, guys. I'm not going to lie. I, I feel like we might be in too deep <laughs> with some of the early mistakes. And no doubt, constant mistakes. Right, so how many un unemployed do we have? We've got 23 people not doing anything. All the engineers are working. This building's off. That building's on with two things queued up. Public house is up to its neck in workers, and this has got what it needs as well. All right, I think we're good then. We'll leave the, everyone else out there doing their thing, and we'll assign them to the docks once they get finished. I'm letting time play now. I'll tell you one thing that's good. At least there's no sign of cold yet. Not yet. And a, a good thing is that not many people have been getting sick, but motivation is kind of low as well. Let's, even though food is low, we need a miracle. Let's activate the evening service. 
Listening to the words of our spiritual leaders raises everyone's motivation. And to raise motivation at the Overseer Station, it increases Strike Risk for 24 hours. Strike Risk is level 2 already, but I'm, I'm gonna, gotta do it. I gotta do it. The motivation has to rise. Actually, maybe we should wait until it's very low. I don't think we're ever gonna get into this category of the uh, increased efficiency. Foragers have reached the mountain pass. Let's go. It seems that an avalanche came down from here not long ago. Hoof tracks, hoof tracks? Disappear in the avalanche field. Did the reindeer cause it? An avalanche field. Eight hours. Off you go. Alright, let's keep an eye on our building. So this is now empty. Let's get someone on it. We can't change the shifts of these things. Shifts and safety and all of that's only, only relegated to the central generator buildings, of course. Right, so dismantling that other building, we could build another fishing harbor here during the night. So how many... Yeah, I don't know. Does it say? we will produce one raw food. Yeah, I don't know how often, though. Per, if that's per hour, we're fucked. <laughs> um, but we'll build another one here anyway. That's good that it doesn't delete the resources I've got here. And dismantling, excuse me, the reloading station, excuse me, again, will give us back some resources. Uh, we've reached the rock arch. Strangely symmetrical rock formation looks like something built by a human hand. But it's completely of natural origin. Get to the closed tavern. Hopefully we'll find something there. Some old drinks, some food rations maybe. Maybe even some raw food, who knows. Someone's hungry. Charles Bend. Get yourself to the cookhouse. Get some food, son. He's in the church. He's a man of God. There he is. Oh, he was helping um, build the docks. Good man. Prioritizing the, the need of others over himself. If only all the workers were like that. Uh, we're currently researching for the infirmary as well. So the infirmary, it actually said this in a loading screen as I loaded up today. Um, which is one of the reasons why I want to push towards it. But it, also, it was also great help in my previous run. It heals people twice as fast as the regular medical tents. So currently we've got nine engineers busy in the two buildings trying to heal people. If we can just get the one building and heal them twice as fast, that's pretty good. Uh, that'd be my hopes, my hopes and dreams. All right, speed time up. All right, it's 4 a.m. New law can be passed. Let's have a look. Work standardization. Workplaces will be 10% more efficient during short shifts. Using short shifts will cause a little discontent. I think I might go for that. I didn't actually really look at too much between episodes. Guards working in the security outpost will be upgraded. And the lookout for troublemakers to ensure the security of employees. A security outpost upgraded from the overseer station. Security outpost lower discontent in neighbor in nearby workplaces. You have to build two of them. So we'd have to upgrade the two we have. Hmm. Seems like a pretty good deal. Although I guess it's just extremely authoritarian, is it? Penal colony, class segregation, and strike busting. God damn, you're getting into it then. What about extended shifts? Two shifts. Extended shift. Working overtime causes discontent. New shift, you can extend the workday in any facility for 14 hours. I'd like to do that for anything that, where we know like the gas level has come down. And it's like, okay, yeah, we can work the full day then. And squeeze a little bit more out of them. I'll go with standardization first. Because gas is high right now, I'm gonna use the 10% more efficiency during these short shifts. So short shift usually Usually gets 25% debuff, but now it's only going to be a 15% debuff, so that's kind of nice. Let's see how it all works out. A controversial law. Shorter shifts were supposed to be about safety, not busting a gut. It's all a ploy to make us work more in the same amount of time. Damn it, Lewis Carlisle has seen through me. Avalanche field. We traversed the avalanche field and found no reindeer tracks on the other side. The herd might be buried at the foot of the mountain. Herd of reindeer, rustling rail, rusting rails. Definitely going for the reindeer. We need that food. All right, both docks are full up for food. 
sorry, full of for workers, so that's the most food we can really bring in. Now, for some reason, we have five people sick and one person not being treated. Why not, John? Not at risk of falling ill, but is already ill. Hopefully he's on his way to this room in here for more. And there's room in here for more, so hopefully um, he can sort that out. And get in there. I don't see why he's not. That's kind of freaking me out now. Let's see. Let's just turn this off for a second. And turn it back on. No? <laughs> uh, that's strange. Okay, it just went from 5 down to 4, and he still doesn't want to go get treated. It looks like he's on his way. Oh, he's going to get food first, is he? Oh, yeah, sorry. It's, I should have just read the activity. It says going to eat, eating, going to treatment. Okay, as long as he's going to treatment now, it's fine. There we go. So, actually, good news. That means only one building needs to be operational. Turn this one off, get the engineers out of there. And maybe install the engineers back onto their overseer posts. And uh, anyone else can just sit in the factory inspectorate. All right, three people not working, five people sick, so that's good. That means only two places are having absences because of sickness. In fact, this can probably come down a bit, so. All right, it's the morning. This didn't drop, by the way, so. Don't know if it will today, guess we'll see. Not much wood left to be grabbed here either. 28 before we can dismantle that building. Gotta keep an eye on that stuff. So, they can work the workplaces. It's uh, 8 a.m. now. I should have had that turned on. I'm an idiot. 107 though, so only four absences here. Three people are going to eat. One is in treatment, so that's okay. Uh, horrible, horrible safety. So let's activate the ventilation. This should be on. Let's see what the deal is. Ventilation plant is on. Factory inspector it's now on. Let's install the profiles. Short shift. Okay, they're down to harmful conditions. It's not so bad. We could go safety procedures and hurt 25%, but I actually think I'm gonna leave it. Yeah. Just for a bit. Maybe we'll get to 20% or something and then activate it. I don't know. I want to get a bit of a boost. Hey, food rations. Good old times in the closed tavern. The tavern isn't abandoned after all. A rotund man is bustling about, hefting crates and trunks on a sledge. He introduces himself as the owner of this fine establishment. While the French were around, I had patrons all day long. Workers curing, uh, sorry, workers curing hangover with a breakfast. Engineers drinking buckets of coffee over their maps and blueprints all in the, and in the evening, all together working hand on the next hangover. God, I'm, I'm doing terrible at reading. Sounds like I'm hungover. All together working hard on the next hangover. All of them chatting in bloody French. Now it's over. Take what you need. I'm leaving for good. Oh, wow. It's all closed down. The French are gone. 139 rations, though. I'll take it. Tempting to run straight back with that. Not gonna lie. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going straight back. Where else could we go? Railroad track? Sorry. That we need to make that delivery. 16 hours? That'll be just in time. Because who knows what's at the reindeer. They could be dead or something for all I know. Right, uh, so how's this going? So yeah, let's just keep the orders moving for that. 20 steel each time. Safe in this place though, that's nice. They've got profiles activated. Let's move them down to longer working hours today. The ventilation uh, plant is only going to operate for the early hours though. It's worth keeping in mind. How's the food situation? 60% efficiency, why? Because four of them are going to eat. You just eat at the docks, have a raw fish. <laughs> or just cook it there. 60% on this one as well, going to eat. Bastards. 9 a.m., the work just started. Oh, it's climbing now anyway. That is not a lot of food. 3.6 per hour. A lot of efficiency bars everywhere. Let's let them cook some new food. The infirmary's research. We'll build that tonight. We don't have to build it now. All right. So the upgraded docks to double basically what we bring in. I think. I don't know if it's actually double, but if you know. Um, 
we looked at supercharge in the last episode. I think I'd like to go with that, please. Because I'm worried about the deadline. The deadline's the most important thing, really, at the moment. So supercharge me, daddy. Allows us to supercharge the steam exchangers. At the cost of five exchangers, you get 10% increase to efficiency. I hope I've made the right decision. Still a little bit of wood left. About two hours remaining of wood there. I'm going to be keeping time on kind of normal and maybe just times two because I really need to keep an eye on how things are going. A rumble in the deep. Sir, people working in the deepest part of the shaft report rumbling sounds and slight tremors coming from down below. They complain of getting dizzy from toxic fumes coming through the cracks. We might be forced to evacuate them quickly in case of emergency. To do this, we'll need safety equipment for both the rescuers and the shaft crew. It'll also protect workers from the fumes, improving workplace safety. Shall we start making it? Produce safety equipment. It'll take five exchangers, one safety increase on tower pumps. Oh, so it's only on the tower pumps, not on the overall construction site. Remind me later or we'll manage without. Look, just take it. Just take it. We've got 12 left. Unhealthy, and that's with an increase. Damn, man. So the infirmary I was probably going to build right about here. Oh my god, it actually fits perfect. I didn't think it would do that. Oh, it fits, fits very snugly right there. Although I guess you could say... Yeah, it looks like it's the same size as the Forge's Hut. Mm, yeah, it's okay. I, just, I don't know if I'll ever have another Forge's Hut. But just pause that construction. You don't have to do it now. I'll do it tonight. There's basically no sick people right now. It's good. Thirty food for per hour. Well, at least we're maintaining food a little bit. Rations are going up, so you guys can just stop working. That's okay. Any more profiles need to be made? Not really. Strike chance is virtually non-existent. Twenty percent motivation. No, I'll wait. I'll wait until we absolutely need it. Okay, alright, 40 minutes in our next group are going to reach their destination, the reindeer camp. I didn't know the ships just like meld away like that. Uh, foragers have reached the herd of reindeer. Let's go. Climbing all the way to the snow piled high by the avalanche, we found a herd of reindeer cut off in a small valley. The reindeer have no way to escape. We could stop here for a few days and hunt them and dig up those buried by the avalanche. Oh, Easy prey. We could set up a camp here to supply raw food. Absolutely do it. Set it up right now. We don't have really a good source of that food and we should store it while we can, so bringing it back. 69% of the foundation's done. Seven hours ahead of sketch. That's, uh... Steampunk lingo for schedule. Unhealthy. Low risk of falling ill. Hundred and twenty three percent efficient. I'm gonna leave them all day. Tomorrow the gases fall, they'll become safe if we activate this th these things again or the shorter shift. Sorry, not the short shift, the um safety procedures. House of disease. A worried medic reports an outbreak of venereal disease at the House of Pleasure. At least one of the employees got the clap and is spreading it. We must start mandatory medical examinations at the staff and send them send the infected home or at least isolate them. We could cure the infected. Infected prostitutes will be treated as gravely ill. Oh god. Discontent will rise. Shut down the House of Pleasure. House of Pleasure will no longer raise motivation. Discontent will rise greatly. Or we can't afford it. People will get sick more frequently. Dis discontent will rise. That's the one. 
We don't need to do anything about it. We'll treat them in the infirmary. We've built a, a steam-powered infirmary to handle this. Let everyone have fun in there. <laughs> we'll figure it out, out later. She ain't kicking her leg tonight. Well, I guess it comes online at night, doesn't it? Okay. Opening hours 7 p.m. till 11.30. Damn. Let's check on our overseers. We have Summit Sharma, M. Flack, Effie McLaughlin. Now, Effie McLaughlin isn't a commenter or someone that wanted their name in the game. It's the story character, and I was like, I can't overwrite her name. So we've got her working her heart out there. She doesn't really look like her photo in the other one. <laughs> Okay, um, so let's see. So food is actually okay now. We're kind of keeping it steady with those two things. I think we did a good job there. And what? We've got five people unemployed. How's coal? Coal's okay even with the ventilation plant on. Plenty of coal left. A thousand there. 751. So we've got 2,000 coal left to go. trying to think if I need to, where can I put someone else uh, I guess on wood anyone that's not doing anything there's only two people available that aren't sick we're constantly pumping out the steam exchanges we're gonna move these guys over to profiles manufacturing soon uh, we're gonna need to get another steam core and a bunch more people in maybe an extra engineer or two Like that actually might not be a bad idea. That's just one extra house and a steam core right away. So let's go. All right, looking good. Let's get rid of this. All right, so we're dismantling the old uh, sawmill out this way, putting everyone back onto the new one. Supercharge has been researched. Good job, engineers. They worked a little overtime on that. Appreciate it. And they didn't have to, just to get the job done. So we can supercharge to get extra efficiency out of the place now. Safety improvements for the machine shop. I'm going to go safety improvements for the profiles manufacturer because we're going to move over to that in a day or two. Actually, wait, wait, wait. I say that. I'm not ready to do that yet. Um, oh, it's a finer mesh for food. 10% more food. I'm gonna go upgraded docks, so we're pulling in more stuff and it's ready there. I think that's a good thing to do. Let me just think through it. I know I, I should probably prepare things, but... I don't have the workforce to pick stuff up as it is. Is it wise to just pile up a second pile that we can't even get? I mean, I guess it's good to have a second pile just constantly going. Yeah, uh, that seems to make sense to me. Because you're working on one pile, gathering as much as you can from it, and the second one fills up, and you can alternate. And put, if you, as you get more people, then get people on both. Seems to make sense. Because right now, we're not utilizing the potential of the docks at the moment, right? They can't have everyone on them pulling stuff in. But I feel like it's a question of manpower more than anything. It's like, I need more people to really make use of that. I almost think maybe the foundry would be better to start work on so we can get ahead of the next problem. Uh, I think docks first, then foundry. Right, is the workday over? The workday is over for this place. Use five steam exchangers to instantly advance work on the generator by 10%. Evening service. A small group marched out of the chapel after evening service, carrying makeshift signs with slogans such as "Ban the demon drink" and "Renounce sin, choose temperance." Well, these sounds like these are the life of the party. They are now picketing the public house, demanding that it stop serving alcohol. Angry patrons volunteered to drive the tea, uh, tea to how do you, tea to tellers, tea to tellers away, but they want to make sure they won't get into trouble for this. Side with the tea to tellers. Public house will have 30% less of an effect. Have Adam Lads let them fight, or wait them out. Public House will reopen in 24 hours. We'll go a day without it. Our motivation is on the brink, though. But we could activate the, um... The overseers. Okay, let's wait them out. 
And overnight, when this falls, we'll activate the Overseers, give them their rations. And then uh, we should see a big bump from motivation, but I think that's going to be a temporary thing, man. At least there's barely any sick. Only two sick people at the moment. We're going to get some tonight. Oh yeah, so let's uh, let people start building now. Anything else we need to build that I didn't let them do? No. Alright, the infirmary. This is a steam-powered infirmary. Should operate twice as fast as the medical posts. New law to be passed. Let's see what we got. After hours equipment maintenance. After finishing their shift, workers will spend some time cleaning and maintaining their equipment. Reduces risk of accident. A permanent discontent penalty though. Cocaine pills, radical treatment, sustaining life on-site burials, bare knuckle bouts. What's our current discontent? I worry about strike risk. If we're going to increase the strike risk and discontent is already at about 25%, I, I'm not going to pass the law yet. I'm going to wait. Or, actually, we could pass the law maybe for the, the um, security outpost. Is it that bad? It doesn't say it's going to cause any discontent. Security outpost will be built. New regulations. And there we go. Holy shit, chonky boys. And they just overlap on top of the ones already. And they don't cost that much. They only cost a little bit. It takes away the uh, base cost. Never fear, comrades. It's them who should be afraid. <laughs> this place is turning into a penal colony, says Lucy Brown and Lucy Cory. Quit your yapping. Get back to work. We have a job to do. We're ahead of schedule as well, which is good. Forger's unit number four returns safely with 139 extra rations. Thank Jeebus. Activate the safety procedures. Keep this place chilled as they get to work in the morning. Discontent is falling. I'd love to see it. Security outposts are being built. Motivation rises. You're damn right it does. Promise fulfilled. I guess it's a nice way to keep motivation going. Just give yourself a task and then finish it. They seem to like that. Um, so, the returns with the food, they have to send them back out. So we have a railroad track or rusting rails. Anything else out there? No? It's got a railroad track. Sounds better than rusting. Rusting makes it sound like, I don't know, it's old, right? Not in, not in use. All right, three sick people, not so bad, not too shabby. Now turn them all, turn off this building, get out of there. No need to work it. Get into the brand new toasty infirmary. Look at the heat in there. Oh, it's still boiling hot. Oh, the temperature will drop, day 27. Hmm, by 10 degrees. It's okay though for now, I suppose. Bathhouse will keep people toasty, I have no doubt. It's eight heat levels. This is five. Five sick people. Going to treatment. Treatment. John Moore, John Petty, Buford Foster, John Franklin, Bernice, Bernice Gilbert, and Lucius Granville. 34%. How are we doing? Three hours ahead. We're still ahead. So as, as the workday begins, we'll be one hour behind, I think. And hopefully they can just smash it with some good efficiency. Coal is getting low. Especially, it's so at 170 there combined with the 72. I know there is a statistic screen, but that tells us everything we need to know. 240 a day. We've got 260 right now. Hey, I just saw that go down by one. Why would that happen? Yeah, why is it going down? Who's using coal right now? Oh, is this operational all day? Oh yeah, guess so. Okay, well that's fine. I didn't know that. Just assumed it was like... I mean, it makes sense. I just assumed it was when it wasn't um, during... Uh, I thought it was during the workday. Anyway, motivation has just fallen below 30%. 
causing efficiency to fall 30%. Sorry, it fell below 25%. You know what we gotta do? Inspections. Daily. It's just the daily loss that we're combating. It's so difficult. High strike chance in here now. Yeah, let's just um, chill these guys out a bit as well. <laughs> Alright, not so bad now. One level of strike chance. Same with here. All right, gas is falling at seven. At eight o'clock, we should. This place should become safe. In fact, it should be even more than safe. We can maybe turn off the uh, ventilation thing. Just want to keep an eye on it when it happens. All right, thirty minutes to go. Eight o'clock. Ten people sick. There we go. It's safe. So let me just weigh this up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six from safety. Negative five from bad things. So let's turn off the ventilation shafts or the plant. Yeah, still safe. Good. Hmm. Supercharge? Ten percent efficiency? Should operate at ninety. Ninety percent. If we kept this on, we could get a lot more out of them. But I think we're ahead of time, so I think we're okay. It has to be done on day 25. We're at day, day 25 at 3 o'clock. So it's, it's only day 23. I think we're okay. No need to push the coal if we don't have to. This building's still operational. We're still just cranking out steam exchangers. Very low on steel, though. We might have to switch them over to this building soon. Okay. Look at them flood into the workplace. I love to see it. When's our delivery coming? Eight people are arriving soon and a steam core that's going to allow us to build a foundry after we get our upgraded docks. Come on! <laughs> Sorry, that was kind of loud. My bad. At least we kept food going as well. Has that first food delivery made it here yet? There's 12 hours and they're getting here with 80. We are just keeping an even keel with food. And tomorrow, at least when motivation dips again, we can at least activate the evening service. Because the uh, overseer motivation is going to drop off a cliff. And the sick people, there's no engineers, are there? Isn't... I don't think so. No names that I'm recognizing. Maybe Font? Maybe this one? No. Okay. Alright, 53%. Time to finish 14 hours. Strike chance, 1. Safety is unhealthy. Unhealthy. What changed? I'm not sure what changed. This is active. That's active. That's active. That didn't go up. Public house is inoperative. This is working. Am I mental? What what changed? Well, I want them to stay safe, so turning this back on. I'd have to go back and see what it was. What, what else could it have been? I don't know. Oh my god, they look so cool. Look at them now, the uh, overseer things. It's got like a little magnifying glass looking at people. Yeah. Get them out now. See, this ex is exactly why we keep it safe. We have to rescue them. The source is exposed. Well, we've got loads of different options, it seems. Sir, there was a catastrophic accident in the lower levels. A cave-in exposed the underground heat source, engulfing our people in deadly fumes. We can seal the source off to save them, although it will permanently reduce the power available to the generator. But if we leave it open, all our people underground will die. So we can seal it off. The generator won't be able to power more than a few heat zones. Well, that's not good. Workers will evacuate safely. The construction will stop for six hours. Can't afford it. Not going to happen ever. So the generator, so the next one's leave it open. The generator will have normal power. All workers underground will die. That's 50 people. That's that, no, not even going to entertain it. The generator will have normal power. Many workers will be gravely injured. The construction will stop for three hours. Gravely injured.
Use the escape routes. The generator will have normal power. Some workers will be injured. The construction will stop for three hours. Well, obviously this one. I think that's because we had it safe. Dude, that is... I gotta... I promise you I'm not, like, save scumming or whatever. As you can tell, like, I'm in dire shits all the time. Obviously, if I knew loads of things ahead of time, I think I could have prepared much better than I have. <laughs> but um, we got so lucky with that. Although, I'm, a, I'm guessing it probably would have allowed us to keep it at unhealthy the way we did before. I did just max it up to safe just now by turning on the ventilation um, plant. So I'm, I'm guessing that we prob it probably would have allowed us to go a tier down, but maybe not. Maybe each one of these is one tier. I don't know. Use the escape routes. Get the hell out of there. That was close. I hope I'm as lucky as them when disaster strikes on my shift. They're saved. Now get them to the medic quickly. So the thing is, I had this active for situations like that. Th this probably won't happen again for a while. Although it's actually... Oh, it is unhealthy. What what keeps changing? <laughs> it's like we're losing safety all the time and I don't see anything that's getting worse. Hey, the factory inspectorate isn't listed here anymore. Why not? Oh, yeah. Interesting. 100% efficiency. Oh, because the building's not active. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, never mind that then. It's a bit confusing. The building's not active for the three hours that this cooldown's going to be going on. So I'm going to bump this back up. You're working into the night because of these three hours you missed. Because of the rumbling or whatever. Come on. Give me a break. Anything else that's uh, missing or going on? I hope it doesn't have a strike now, actually. That would be a nightmare. Alright, well, food is okay at least. I'm happy there. Get off that. We're working on the upgraded docks. We're going to build that overnight. Hopefully that'll get done today. That's cool. You can see the little um, fishing ships. All right. Uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. I don't think I've made any grave mistakes right now. We have five people not doing anything. The infirmary is at five out of ten engineers. So it's only operating at half efficiency, which means it's basically operating at the same rate as the medical post, but it's ha um, harnessing twice as many people or holding twice as many people. Harnessing is a strange word to use for that. Let's bring this down to five. Try to get through these sick. I don't know if this is, is this the sick that just got here or are we getting more? At least we're cranking out the steam. Um, oh, actually we're full up on wood. Let's just change this raw food to wood. Oh, there we go. Successful evacuation. Sir, we have great news. All the workers were rescued and the source remains open. Some of our people were hurt, a few of them seriously, but if we provide them with enough proper medical care, they will live. And when we finish the generator, it'll be able to achieve the full heating power. Excellent. Oh, I didn't read actually the fucking outcome thing. Is that it? It said some of them seriously. Oh no, there we go. Seven sick. Yeah, maybe we should open up the other ones. Just so nobody becomes super ill. And uh, even if it just means stationing, I don't know, two engineers in each um, medical post, they'll look after five people. Not efficiently, but at least they keep them busy until the infirmary is open. Or has room. Now, the engineers shouldn't be sick, so they should be on their way, right? Going to eat. <laughs> I, lo I love that. I'm just going to eat. I'm just going to nipping over to get a bite to eat while well, people are dying, being pulled out of the mineshaft. Just don't become greatly ill, please. That's all I ask. Alright, 15 people are being taken care of. So we're just waiting for this these guys to finish eating. And then, uh... Hopefully they'll get in there. So where are these workers? Johnny O'Reilly and P. Tarts. Come on. Grab your food and get here now. Alright, we got our upgraded docks. To complement... No, no, no. I was going to say to complement that we could go with efficient gathering, which I'd like to do, but I think we need to step up this, you know, our game and get to Foundry because we need the Foundry operational to immediately start work on the next thing. Kind of. In another way, we could just work on profiles. It's one or the other. This costs a lot. 60 wood, 40 iron, and uh, one steam exchanger to just build a building. Sorry, one steam uh, core. Alright, you know what? 
efficient gathering. People will gather coal faster, steel get faster, and wood faster. I don't think that counts for the reloading stations, though. They're not gathering stations. Maybe it does. Keep an eye on it. 11.9 when it's at 100% efficiency. I'm going to write that down. 11.9 wood at 100% in the reloading station. So we'll get this tech and see if it makes a big difference. But anyway, what we're going to be building tonight are the un upgraded docks. Boom and boom. We need steel for that though. How much steel? 20. So we need 40 steel in the bank. Is this building done today? Yeah, it is. We're done with that. Okay, good. We're not done here though yet. 14 hours ahead of schedule. I, I love to hear it. Don't give me a strike. Be good to me. Extra people have arrived. Everyone has houses, luckily. That was kind of coincidence or just look. And now we have our steam core. Oh my god, I think we're kind of doing it. I mean, it's a struggle, but I think we're kind of doing it. It's the motivation I worry about now. Evening service, perhaps, tonight? I keep us afloat. Okay, everyone's being treated. Everyone's in a medical bay. That's the important thing. Four, two hours, four hours. This infirmary will empty out quick, and then we'll just throw everyone out of this place into that one, you know? All right. Stow your tools. Workday is over. Toxicity is falling next uh, tomorrow, which is excellent. We can turn this off. Save coal. Build that coal back up. Hopefully. 1,800 coal left. Let me start to think about getting some charcoal burners going. This wood is pretty good. But we're going to have to make a lot more profiles. We need 50 profiles for the next phase. We've got 26. Uh, so the workday is over, so let's begin. We have enough steel to upgrade both docks. As the whorehouse. Sorry, public house. <laughs> Arthur Og, he's deep in there. John Moore. Bjorn Schmidt. Tony Bateman, a lot of engineers blowing off some steam, eh? They're not above it. They're not above it at all. Alright, I'll speed up time then. <sighs> 11 hours ahead of schedule, can you believe? Now we're not working again for 9 hours, so we're really about 3 hours ahead, I'd say. But hey, I'll take it. Being ahead is good. Now, day 25, halfway through, that's that's roughly where my mouse is now, where the mark is for what we need in terms of schedule. And after this, <laughs> it just all piles on more with the weather. Ugh. Love the atmosphere we've got going on now, though. Infirmary doing work. Patients are down to just 11 now, so we can turn off one of these buildings, save some engineers, put the extra engineers in here, increasing the efficiency. Efficiency 75, security outpost. So that does give a benefit. We have a huge efficiency here. Medical post upgrades. Oh, so medical posts have an upgrade, but the infirmary doesn't. That being said, I still think this is way more efficient. Do we ever get infirmary checklists? Medical mechanization. Advanced fishing harbor. I think we have to start thinking about moving on to the next phase soon. Motivation's good. I mean, it's going to tank as soon as this runs out. But uh, let's try to get ahead of it. Ugh. Listening to the words of our spiritual leaders raises everyone's motivation. Well, I bet it does. Let's get some people in there to cook food tomorrow. 124 rations, that's 224 food, or whatever. That's enough for a day. I feel like we need more people. I don't know how we're going to feed them, though. Daily loss, brackets, concerning. It is concerning, yes. 
What are we at? 65%. Currently looking at a dangerous work environment, though you gotta consider tomorrow the factory inspectorate will kick online. So it'll become harmful. It's not too bad. That in turn affects strike chance. The overseer, overseer inspection will actually wear off. Motivation took a hit. The inspector is about to run out. Motivation takes a massive hit. Although we're still over the correct amount, I think. Just barely. So that lowers strike chance because that gets rid of the... Uh, what's it called? Overseer kind of problem. <laughs> All right, 7 a.m. Just wondering, do I run this or not? We'll go from dangerous to harmful. I'd like to be in un in unhealthy category, so maybe just throw down four structural profiles. It's not that bad, you know. It's what what is that? Two, four, six. It's 80 wood. It's not that bad. Or short shift, actually. Short shift would be better. Yeah, we'll keep it on short shift. Because we still have that 10% increase of efficiency. 92% efficiency on a short shift, I'll take it. I think that's fine. And with safety checks on, no need to burn the uh, structural profiles just yet. Let's get them cranking out another one of these. Oh, we're out of steel. Alright, you know what? Get out of here then. Turn this building off, turn this one on. Get in there. 110% efficiency. Safe. Super safe. Work the full day then. <laughs> this game is so cool. I love it. It's so harrowing. I can't believe I'm actually... I'm like on the edge all the time. <laughs> this is just like the other one I played. The new home scenario. It's like... I just feel so hopeless all the time. It's like any minute now, I'll just lose. <laughs> Three hours ahead of schedule. Can we get that done today? It seems like maybe we can. Nine hours to go. We'll work until four o'clock, although we can extend it. We can extend it if we don't get it done. Any absentee? Three people absent, not that bad. Not that bad. 13 sick. One engineer is actually even available for here. Um, but let's throw another one in here. So what do they do again? Passive effects raises the efficiency. Eh. Get in there. So this is delivering. One employee is delivering 33%. But there's more than one person in here, right? Oh, there's only one. They're all working, going to rest. Going to rest, going to eat. Maybe only one works at a time, because it is a 24-hour building. That could be the case. Up to three workers on this shift. Okay, up to three. I know there's only one right now. Yeah, so I would say that this is more important than that. This tower affects the actual generator, whereas the other one affects the other things. Holy crap, they blew through. They just made six profiles that fast. Look at the speed. I'm on speed. Oh, I'm on, I'm on speed too, in fairness. But still, jeez. All right, railroad track. There is nothing here. Straight stretch of gigantic railroad. Storehouse or three graves? Storehouse. Any risk of, no risk of strike? Uh, how good is this? <laughs> Except for motivation. I mean, that's terrifying, but... What can I do about that? I don't know. Pass another law, maybe? The daily loss is staggering. Sickness is basically gone, so let's just get rid of these. Close that. Put everyone in that building. And now we can get back on the towers. Food is okay as well. Functioning, 38 food per hour. Good, 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 good. Chapels are doing their things. Coal is okay. The ventilation plant is actually off. But the bathhouse is obviously consuming some. I might turn this off. I think we should store up some coal. And we have plenty of room for sick people. So, and no one's... It's not just about sickness. Think of it this way. It's not that bad. You know, unhealthy is not that bad. <laughs> We'll see how much more sick we get because of it. Stolen chemicals. Oh, no. Sir, a large amount of benzol, a flammable solvent, was stolen from the stores. Overseers want to look for it in the workers' quarters. Maybe someone took it to keep warm at night. I sure hope so. 
head overseer looks worried, but benzol is commonly used to fashion fire bombs. I will sleep easier if we find it. Do we have your permission to search the workers' quarters? Absolutely. Strike risk will ri rise for two days. No. I can't have that happening. That seems insane. It's only one strike risk. For two days, I can handle it. Gases are falling, I can handle it. Hey, don't touch my stuff. You can't treat us like criminals. I'm not, we're just searching. It's a routine search. It's for your own protection. Someone could set fire to your tents, kill you all. It's for your own protection. Just think, for fuck's sake. <laughs> God damn it. Oh yeah, look at the steel that's piling up here now. I'm not even picking any up from that pile. That's like the excess pile. Oh, we still haven't gathered all the steel even from just this pile. Come on, man. I just want to see this finish. So, um, gathering is done. So, has this increased efficiency? Efficient gathering? No, it doesn't look like it. Let's get our next tech. Fish finer mesh for food. The foundry. Let's go find your mesh, then foundry. I think that's the way we're gonna go. Then we'll look to get safety. Because right now, our food has been supplemented by 80 incoming raw food, which I actually did not check to see how long that's gonna last. Oh, for another nine days. Thank God. All right, good. <laughs> remember when we used to make hearty meals? I remember. Looking good on the structural profile side of things, though. You know, we need 25 to immediately get to work straight away after this. We can do the foundry bit later. Five people are sick. Ah, their shift has ended. So they'll get it done tomorrow, which is the day they need to work on it. I'm going to just tell them to get back in there. Risk of strike, though. They're only working it for this a little bit. Now it's off. Okay, good. That's fine. It's fine. They didn't have a strike. That's fine. <laughs> Just got that little bit of extra done. If I was paying attention, I would have kept it on the whole time. Right. So tower pumps. We're at 98%. 16 hours ahead of schedule. So tomorrow morning, you know, 8 a.m. for the, for an hour. They should get it done. 6%. Unless we have a strike and some big problems, I think they'll be fine. Especially since the gas is falling. So what, what's the worst that could happen? Steam cores. The store is filled with crates used to transport steam cores. Dozens of them. Enough to power an entire fleet of dreadnoughts. Most of the crates are empty. Steam cores, see if we play. Uh, the sign over the entrance says Ministry de la Marine et de Colony. Entrepo. Um. Un, deux, trois, quatro, is it? Quatro. <laughs> It's not surprising the other nations also seek refuge in the north, but the scale of this operation is astonishing. An ancient storekeeper opens a big ledger at our site. The old man apparently took us for French engineers. Bonjour, monsieur. Voici vos noyaux de peuple. Vous vous signer ici et ici. Ça devra être suffisant pour réparer le crevonne. He seems to offer us a shipment of steam cores, but what the heck is crevonne? Crevonne? Um, nod and just sign the papers. What is that second symbol? Explain the misunderstanding. We won't get any steam cores. Hmm. What's that symbol? I'm not going to do it against my super strong judgment to like just grab it and run. That symbol freaking me out that something will go horribly wrong. That's the symbol for our group, isn't it? So there's, there's something potentially bad might, might happen. I don't know. I don't think I need the steam cores that badly. Like I do. I could always use them for steam reloading and stuff. But I actually don't have enough food to feed people right now, so I'm going to be taking cores anyway. It's my logic. So I'm going to hope that if we just be good, 
maybe we'll be rewarded later down the line. I don't know. I'm not going to do it. I just don't feel like it's right. There's something wrong. Something's wrong with this one. We got away with stealing the crates. Got away with somehow avoiding the disaster in the shaft. I feel like there's only so much you can push it, so I'm going to say no. Explain the misunderstanding. We told the storekeeper about his mistake. For a moment, we weren't sure whether he's about to burst into anger or tears. Then he closed his ledger and muttered a single sentence before he left. Merci, monsieur. Votre on tete votre Votre vous honor. You have honor or something? Honestly, above all? Well, you know what? Respect. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Three graves. Look, guys, look, we did the right thing, okay? We might not have done the right thing with Winterhome. We've done the right thing here. Bloody French. You don't hear anything about the French in the main playthrough, do you? I can't quite remember. Only three people sick. Isn't it a marvel? Two hundred and forty wood out that way. How many people not doing anything? Six. See, it's all well and good. It's just I just wor I don't have two hundred and forty food per day worth of food to feed people to take on like that many more people. Everything else is just going to be like, yeah, just give me cores, you know, just cores I'll take in. Really, um, we're going to need at least one more core for the foundry. Well, yeah, let's just order a shipment now. Why not bring two cores in? The two cores we could have had. How about that? All right, I'll speed up time. Motivation is going to be falling tonight. We're going to have to activate the overseers. Increase strike chance. Beg that we don't have one. Sided with overseers. Okay. Am I forgetting to build anything painstaking? I can't quite remember. Use cocaine pills in the cookhouse to increase motivation. A low risk of death by overdose. I don't want anyone to die. Uh, what else could we do? After hours equipment maintenance. Accident risk will be reduced at all workplaces. Gravely ill can be cured. We don't have any gravely ill. Extended shifts. You can extend the workday in any facility to 14 hours. Working overtime causes discontent. Discontent will rise slightly. Strike busting. Jesus. To ensure that all employees return to work, guards from the security outposts will deal harshly with the strike instigators. A penal colony. To maintain the necessary level of efficiency, convicts can be used as involuntary workforce. A new social class, convicts, available in the telegraph station. Convicts provide cheap labor. They work in a convict building or penal colony. They work when supervised. Oh my god, I bet they kill like the guards. Class segregation. Our best employees deserve the best accommodations. We'll provide engineers with special separate living quarters. Engineers living in engineers' lodgings have higher motivation. How many people does it hold, though, is what I want to know. Because how many engineers do we have? About 32 or something? 39? I don't necessarily want to be building four of those. That's kind of a lot. Although I guess you could dismantle some of the buildings. Get some resources back immediately. It doesn't say that other people would be annoyed by that. You think they would be though? Let's do it. Attention, regulations change. Build engineers lodgings for all of them. I'm guessing that maybe it actually costs the same amount. Oh, you can upgrade as well. That's cool. Oh, that's so nice. So it takes the same amount of living space for each one, is it? Let's put them near the uh, bathhouse, near the inside as well. These are expensive. Holy crap. You could do three. I 
just hoping it raises motivation even just a little. To keep us above. Well, I don't need to smell their stink either. Those who exalt themselves will be humbled. Engineers didn't say anything about it. Oh, I don't like the look of this. Un homeless during the night. Oh, it's creating sick people. It's just annoying. What's worse, it's probably even sick engineers. So how many engineers are going to live there? No one seems to be taking the houses. Functioning? On? Off? Zero out of 39. Uh-oh. Something seems wrong. 14 people homeless. What, do I have to, like, find the engineers and kick them out of their houses or something? I'm really confused about that. I don't know how that's gonna work. Inhabitants zero out of eight, no residents. Why? Why not? Should, surely engineers would just move out of where they live and move in here, I would have thought. I don't get that. These are all workers. I'm, I'm gonna go through every house. I know it's painstaking, but I need to know if they're stationed at it. There we go, engineers. Going home. Some engineers in both of these houses. Like, can I tell you to get the hell out and like live somewhere else? Maybe I'll have to turn that off. There we go. Oh, um, are you kidding me? That seems insane. So let's turn these off. The ones that all have engineers in them and just do a manual like relocation. Cause I'm not waiting around for the game to figure it out while we've un um, unhoused out there, you know? That seems a bit weird. Twenty-one. So is it just eight per house? Yeah, it is eight. I'll have to do this again when we build the next one, the final house. Alright, so that's created 62 homeless, but at least it's manually just filled up these houses. I mean, I don't know why I've had to do that, but at least it's done. And now these will just be filled by workers, so sometimes you just have to do it that way, I guess. Um, uh, I wish there was a hotkey for that. Come on. Uh, uh, Alright, cool. That house doesn't even have anybody in it. Um, so 24 out of 39, not bad, so we need 16, another two houses. To build them tomorrow. We're two days left to do it, so it's okay. Got six sick people just because of that, though. They're all going to treatment now. Annoying. Alright, we'll speed up time. It'd be nice to end the episode at least when we get this built. Um, and then we can call it a wrap on that one. So it should be in the, just in the morning. Motivation is actually going up. Living in engineers' lodgings, yeah. So some of them are helping a little bit. That's good. Oh my god, we just kept... That was perfect. <laughs> Living in engineers' lodgings is gone, by the way, now from the thing. It's not a permanent modifier, I guess. Living near a chapel, though, is. I guess it's tempting, then, to have another chapel out this way, because it seems like that's a permanent modifier, and... Uh... Oh my god, it's dropped anyway. Why is it just dropped? Three graves. The dots turn out to be graves. The headstones read Lob, Prolof, and Baloo. Who were they? Why were they buried in such a remote place? We'll never know. Hmm. Trapper's cabin, train station. Let's hit the trap uh, the train station first. So, efficiency is going to fall 30% because of that motivation, unless we activate the Overseer's Inspection. But that raises Strike Chance, and I don't know if I want to do that today. But what else can I do, man? Can't build another chapel. We need more steel.
All right, well, at least the gas is falling. Sided with Overseers, again, is still there as a strike chance. At least the place is safe, pretty safe. So even with their low efficiency, it might be all right, maybe. 66% efficient. Time to finish two hours. At least they're going to get it done and they're safe. And then we'll consider what we need to do for everywhere else. But everything operates less efficient, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, I have to activate that thing then. But I'm going to look at my options in between episodes in terms of tech tree and see what else we could do to raise. The only thing I can think of is just building, like, like I said, a, uh, another church. 10 steel, 30 wood. I'm just out of wood because... Uh, god damn. I can't really build another one of these, can I? The time it takes to make one is way faster than the time it takes to bring in all that wood. <laughs> oh, let's just get this done. No strike, at least. And now we're going to have a ton of people free to just go all out in the gathering piles and pull in as much stuff as we can. Man, that feels like it's taking an eternity. There we go. Got it. Milestone achieved. Heart of the Generator. With the foundations in place, it's time to build a fiery heart of the generator called a core. It'll have to be enclosed within two support frames, which will also hold up the external parts of the generator. Alright, we'll pause it there. That's going to be it for this episode, but this now means that generator-wise, we can begin the support fr uh, frames, which cost 25 structural profiles. Boom. We have to build two of them, so we build half first. Slam that down. It's only 30 workers, so that's not so bad. Get them in there. Uh, turn on the short shift, maybe turn on safety or something, just, I don't know, whatever, just to keep it like that for now. But yeah, looks like we'll have to do this, right? We have to. I, I don't know another, know another way out of it. And then tomorrow, I don't know, church, hope for the best, chapel service as soon as we can, laws, <laughs> and then class segregation. If we fulfill that, hopefully that boosts mo motivation for fulfilling a task. So hopefully that'll pull us out of it. All right, that is going to be it. I mean, it's a dire affair, but we're, ho we're hanging on there. Tooth and claw. Um, but I'm, I'm loving it. Even though it's stressful as hell, I am loving it. All right, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. Can't wait to, I'll be reading your comments after this episode. Every second episode, basically, I get to see all the feedback, suggestions, etc. Look forward to reading it. Thank you guys again very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support this series directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. If you don't see the Join button, it means the video has been copyright claimed, but you can still join from the channel page on desktop. You can also link your account to our Discord to get a special role on there that will give you access to the Senate House and a few other perks.